Acquisition News. Uh, we're here at Analog Haven, uh, which to me is the heart and soul of uh, uh, music and sound electronic products. And I'm here with James uh, Houston. Houston. Yeah. Um, with Synthworks. And uh, we're going to have him explain just all this cool, the cool, crazy stuff that you can do with this stuff. <laughs> um, hi, I'm James with Synthworks. I'm going to show you our line of force sensing resistor modules based on FSR technology of force sensing resistor. Uh, these modules produce a control voltage based on how hard you press onto the sensors. Um, is in this example, you can see by a little bit of my finger I can get a big change in uh, uh, whatever parameter I'm plugged into. In this case I've got a control voltage running to an oscillator, control voltage running to a filter, to a, uh, an LFO and to the LFO speed. So with, uh, with one hand, you can go through a whole bunch of different parameters. Doesn't, doesn't take much to do. And it, it, they're very sensitive. They don't uh, react to your fingers, moisture or radio waves in the room or anything like that. And very robust. We have them in three models. The four channel model, that's our standard FSR4. Uh, the FSR4CB, which stands for big modules, big sensors. And uh, the big sensors are, are useful. Some people like to have to do like finger rolls and uh, be able to really like lean into the module. Uh, they're not position oriented, they're just pressure oriented. So you can hit anywhere on the pad and, and it works just the same. Uh, they can work underneath rubber pads. You can work, wear gloves while you're doing it. And they work fine. You can use drumsticks. And we also make a single channel entry level version that's very uh, aggressively priced, like $95 for the single channel. It's just one of the four channels here. We also make a arcade based uh, manual gate push button. We're uh, using uh, arcade mechanisms from pinball machines. And you can see it's uh, very fast. It'll go for a million presses or so, and you don't have to worry about it breaking down. We also make these USB lamp modules. We have a dual one and a single one. They have variable control brightness. And on the, uh, uh, the single channel one, we have uh, an extra set of multiples, because uh, I don't like wasting panel space. As you can see on the, the original push button modules, there's also four there. We also make a patch cord checker. Uh, Euro is famous for bad patches, uh, bad sockets. So it's good to know that the socket is what's bad and not your cord. And you can check check it by just plugging in a cable. It also checks all the three different ways it can go wrong: a short or a break in either uh, tip or ring. And the the LEDs will light up depend in different modes, showing that form. There's also a variable five volt supply of, uh, onto the front panel if you need a bias voltage and an internal jumper that allows you to collect, connect five volts to the bus if you have modules that require five volt supply. And all these modules are available now and all the, all the typical online dealers and you pick them up and uh, they vary in price from like the $95 module to the $375 or so for the big panel. This big panel module you can move the panels around, they're on, on ribbon cables, so you can position them in different locations if you have a, a slant rig or, or, or you want to just have it in a different place. So, there you go. All right, well, thanks a lot, James. Thank you. Appreciate and it. Enjoy it. Yeah. Enjoy the show.